A lot of times the manufacturer's installments are good, but they're not very great. And so there's still the waffling, there's still the uh, porpoising, and it's not huge, but it's enough to make me concerned. The voice of the customer. Hey everybody, welcome to The Voice of the Customer, where we interview customers who tell us a little bit about their experience, because we know if we tell you we're great, probably not as good as if the customer <laughs> says something good. I drive three hours to come to this place. Ooh, commitment right yeah, there. Because uh, they do very good work. And so I was so pleased with my first uh, coach upgrade. When I got this one, I brought this one down. So let's talk a little bit about your coach. Obviously, it's a 2023, so it's pretty new. Why would you be putting steering and suspension upgrades on a brand new coach? Well, we put in some upgraded Coney shocks as well. Also, some MCU units, motion control units on the back side. Okay. They were looking at it on the front, but uh, the cool thing about what Henderson does is they assess it along the way. And if you don't need it, they don't put it in just to sell it. They pause and say, no, it's not going to work here. Let's just do it on the back. And so that's what stabilized everything. Gives me a lot more confidence and courage to go down those narrow roads. Okay. And the other is when I go over these dips, it didn't keep bouncing once the uh, dips were done, I didn't continue. <laughs> I left the bounce back there. That okay. makes all the difference. That's good. And uh, and obviously, a coach like this, you want to be as comfortable as possible. No white knuckle driving. And... Well, especially when your wife is sitting next to you. Oh, yeah. She's in charge, right? She's a judge. <laughs> and if uh, she's happy, I'm happy. That's right. If mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. <laughs> all right. For, this is kind of a unique video because uh, I got to know a little bit about you without even meeting him. I watched some video. Would you please just tell our audience a little bit about what you do? I'm very impressed with some of your story. I know you're, you are you could talk for a long time, so let's condense it down a little bit. But I do want them to know a little bit about what you do. And then I'll put in the link in the description some of the resources and some of the places where you can find out more about what he does. So would you tell our audience a little bit about who you are and what you do? Well, I'm from Hawaii, and uh, I went to school here, met a uh, lady from this area. So she became my wife, moved her with me okay. to paradise. And then 38 years later... I decided we it's time to move back. Okay. And so we did. Some people say moving from Hawaii to Oregon. How is that? Well, yeah. <laughs> I said it's like moving from paradise to purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> but where God yeah. tells you to go, yeah. it's always the best. And uh, so now we've been here about five years, and we planted a church in Eugene and a college uh, called New Hope Church and College, and it's going great. Well, New Hope is primarily a place where we teach the Word of God so that it is communicated creatively and clearly in a way that people understand. Here at New Hope, we really work hard at developing not only the message or what's communicated, the skills and talents, what people see, but the messenger, the person behind that, the heart behind that, the spirit behind that, the depth, the integrity behind it. But one of the things I notice about discipleship and mentoring, it doesn't happen online. You don't do it at a distance. Mentoring and life change happens life on life. It happens when you can sit with someone and see their example, hear their instruction, but watch their hands and their hearts. That's what affects students the most. It's what they see, not just what they hear. I often say that one of the greatest problems with tomorrow's church is not a lack of leaders. It's going to be an overabundance of underdeveloped leaders in places of leadership. And we want to make sure that our students, when they graduate, have a heart of integrity and they think more about others than themselves. They think about their decisions to make sure that they are serving an audience of one, that the Lord would say, well done, my good faithful servant. Discipleship and mentoring happens uh, face to face. It has to be life on life. If you were going to a hospital, Rich, and you had to have a heart surgery and the guy says, you know, I got my doctorate and I got it online. Mm -hmm. So lay down here on the table. It's like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah. And so even more so when we're working with people's eternities and their souls and their families and their hurts, uh, we want to make sure that these students uh, are exemplary students and they understand the human heart. Yeah. Well, then that goes with our mission here. I mean, we have a lot of uh, logos around and one of them is, uh, it says one way and there's only one way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. And so as a Christian based company, uh, your mission obviously really resonates with us. Getting back on the topic of the voice of the customer, we have last question we always ask every customer. Some people watch these videos and they're like wondering, I don't know, should I come to Henderson? Should I buy these suspension, steering and suspension parts? Is it worth it? You as the customer, would you look at the camera and tell our the person watching this, is if, what do you think about that? Well, absolutely. The reason I drive as far as I do uh, to come here when there's local areas that I can shop at, 
I decided to come to Henderson Lineup and a repeat customer several times because they do good work. They understand the customer and they uh, they know what you need and they make sure that you're pleased and happy before you leave. All right. And we, we didn't give you a donation or anything to say all those words, did we? <laughs> oh, no, we did <laughs> Well, thank you, Wayne. Appreciate the kind words and everything you said. And I wish you nothing but massive success in what you're doing. Uh, You're not just making a mark today, but you're doing something that'll last 100 years from now, which is amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you got value from it, please like and subscribe. And uh, we hope to see you soon, either on the road or here for your own RPA. Until then, we wish you safer and happier driving.